Hi, if you're new to my channel, I am so glad you're here. I don't know about you, but I hate spending $70 to get salon looking nails that probably only last two weeks minimum. But I am a girly girl and I do love having cute nails to complement my outfit. So in this YouTube video, I'm gonna walk you through my top four things I always do when I apply my Color Street nail strips. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step of the four things I do. So that way you can start doing them along with me and have salon looking nails without spending $70. These four Color Street tips are so realistic, so easy. I know if you just start applying one of them, you'll see a big difference with your nail application. If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Macy Victoria. Go ahead, push that subscribe button because I post a new beauty YouTube video for you every Thursday showing you my budget-friendly beauty routines to help you with yours. The first Color Street nail tip I want to share with you is not something you automatically think of, but it makes a dramatic difference. The tip is to get out your blow dryer, and when you remove the Color Street strips from its package, you're going to want to blow dry the nail strips from five to eight seconds before applying them. The heat does something to the texture. It makes it more flexible. It makes the nail strips like easier to apply. Do me a favor, thank me later. The blow dryer's your best friend before applying these nail strips to your nails. The placement and the flexibility of how it changes the nails is crazy. This is something I've been doing for some time now and I just feel like it always makes a difference. As you can see, my nails look flawless and there's no bubbles in them, and I think that's because of the hair dryer. Honestly, the hair dryer to the nail strips makes such a dramatic difference, almost as dramatic as Kim Kardashian losing her earrings in the ocean. Chris, he throws me in the water. I land on the side of my head, and I feel my earring is gone. Wait. My earring's gone! Are you s***? And then this is such a sneaky, underrated step in my Color Street nail routine, but I think it's super important and it is something I do every time when applying these, just like the blow dryer hack. And that is we have very oily fingernails and the oil is what removes the polish strip or the salon strip or the Color Street strip. So you want to not only blow dry your strip, but what you're gonna do to your hands before you apply the blow dried strip of Color Street is you're going to get the oil off. You can get the oil off by the alcohol pad that this comes with by dipping your hands in polish remover or dipping your hands in vinegar. Those three things are key to removing the excess oil. I hope you understand the importance of this step it really makes all the difference with your nail longevity. I'm telling you right now, if you don't understand that, I'm telling you as a human being, it is weird. It okay, so my third step is something you're very familiar with if you're following me on my Instagram, Grown and Perfected. My Instagram handle, the direct link is below. I share, just like I do on here, lots of tangible value and takeaway. So I love to see you over there. But if you have been over there, you know about this trick and I'm very excited to share it with you. Okay, so if you have two to four leftover nail strips, which you will, because each color street comes in a pack of 16, allowing you to mess up or use some double coats or to just have extras. So instead of having your three to four extras and just putting it back in your nail drawer, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna fold it in half, you're gonna get out your straightener, and you're gonna straighten shut the plastic to seal it back. Sealing it back is really genius and changes the game because it allows you to literally store it for like four months and it not go bad. If you have your color street extras out in just air and not a sealed up package, it's going to not lay on as well, not be as sticky. It'll lose its shine. So something I've been doing that I have been sharing with you on Instagram lately 
is I've been using my, not blow dryer, uh, my straightener, and I've been suction cupping back my extras. If you're someone that doesn't apply this step and you don't wanna take out the one minute it takes to suction cup the seal back together with your straightener, well. You're ashamed of yourself. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. So I have talked to you about blow drying the nail strip before applying it. I've talked to you about how you should remove the excess oil to your hands before applying it. Then I just talked to you how I save my extras. Now the fourth thing is how to remove them. Okay, so you're gonna want a plastic bag, a cup of nail polish remover. You're gonna open your plastic bag, put warm water in it. Stay with me on this hack. So you have your cup of nail polish remover, you have your plastic bag of warm water, and you're gonna put your nails in, and voila, 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 it's like magic, and the color streets just falls off in the smoothest, healthiest, easy way. I know that might be a different approach, a little bit out of your comfort zone, removing your color street nails that way, but trust me, you're gonna be okay. This is just so outside of my comfort zone. I'm nervous. Don't even worry about it. If you found any value in this YouTube video, it would mean so much to me if you push the like button. That just means give it a little ding. Really helps YouTube push out this video so we can continue to grow this community and other women can hear the value I just shared with you. Talk to you guys below in the comments. See you next Thursday. And don't forget, good things come to those who practice self-care. We hope you guys have a great rest of your night. We hope you enjoyed the show. And thank you and good night. Peace out, y'all.